first things first. Yes, she is back from a very windy Wales. We've missed her loads, and she is our queen of the castle. Frankie's here! Yeah! Uh, but before we chat to her, let's take a look at why she made it into the final. The thing that I've loved the most about being in the castle is making new friends. I've still got yesterday's knickers on. Oh. <laughs> Can I answer it? Hello? Octopus! Yeah, are you ready? Oh, yeah! Such a good photo. This is the first time we've properly met David. Nice to meet you. I'm the bad guy. <laughs> I've had laughter, I've had tears. Don't be like that. No, but it's not your camp. <laughs> I can't deal with it. I just had to drink stuff. That was so hard. I just went in between my boots. This is where the nation realises how stupid I am. Oh, no! Castle experience has been one of the best roller coasters I've ever been on. I don't want to end. I'm Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank you, darling. We have missed you so much, <laughs> and we are so, so, so proud of you. How are you feeling this morning? Oh. Afternoon, even. Uh, it just feels, yeah, it just feels so mad to be out. I'm free, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's just crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so happy to see you girls. Did you get my message? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. we did. We were a little bit concerned because we sort of felt like you did it for the first two episodes and then forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is, look. I didn't forget, but I had to share the love. I had to share the love with the kids, guys. It's not all about you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yet it is all about us. Yeah. Uh, talking to the kids, have, um, have you managed to have <laughs> lots of cuddles with the boys and Wayne? I'm not home yet. Um, I'm still in Wales. Um, so I FaceTimed them and I've told them when I get home, they all have to sit on the sofa with me and no one's allowed to leave until I say so. Oh. Have you really, you must have really missed them, darling, have you? Yeah, that was the hardest part of the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> I always knew it would be, but um, it's strange, you know, we're so used to having our phones now, aren't we? If we're ever away, um, you can get updates and videos and things like that. And just not being able to talk to them on a daily basis, just to check in with them, see how they are, tell them I love them. It was, that was really difficult. Oh, I tell uh, you what, though, I've loved keeping on top of uh, your boys and Wayne because they've been keeping us all uh, updated what they've been up to on Instagram. I've loved their videos. So you might not have seen them, but we have. <laughs> I bet they have. I have, to, I have to ask you, Frankie, I mean, we've seen you do some incredible trials during it and do them so well because I know how scared you are of everything. But last night's trial with the, the snakes, I mean, how did you even get through that? What did you have to think about to get yourself through that? Um, well, someone who's claustrophobic, even yeah. before the snakes were in there, um, it was quite difficult and I was strapped in. Um, so, um, Wayne is always singing a song, um, you know, every little thing is gonna be all right. So that was just kind of going through my head. It reminded me of the boys. Um, it made me feel calm. Um, and then Sweet Caroline popped in my head at some point for some unknown reason, um, because I don't know what annoys snakes. I was too scared to scream. I didn't know whether to move. So I just thought, stay still and calm and they might be my friends. <laughs> well, you were absolutely brilliant. We're so proud of you. But I have to say the, the one that I really really felt for you when I was watching, obviously, was the um, the eating trial. Oh. Because oh, you've said on here you were scared of mm. condiments even, oh, you know, they amazing. freaked you out. So that was hard <laughs> for you, wasn't it? You, you kind of had a meltdown after that one, didn't you? Yeah, I really did. I knew when I went into the show that an eating trial would be the hardest for me. And I had already said drink, a drinking trial would be even worse. And obviously, me being me, that was the first one I got. Um, and it was really difficult. Because um, also, when you're drinking it, you do end up having to chew whatever's at the bottom. Oh. Um, a lot of them, they're not mixed together. You've got to mix it yourself. Oh. Um, and, I, you know, I've never drunk that amount of liquid in that short space of time. You know, I'm not 
really a pint girl, not normally someone who downs a drink. So the, my stomach was absolutely killing me. Um, so it was really difficult and I've got a real fear of being sick and I felt really sick afterwards. Um, and I won this amazing meal and I couldn't even eat it, but oh, no. all the rest of the oh, campmates enjoyed it and that's what it was all about. I don't know how you did it, but what, what I've recognised is the amazing friendships that you made along the way, you know, and, and uh, as we saw it, whether it's edited or not, there was a bit of confrontation too with a certain naughty boy. How, how was that in camp? <laughs> Um, you know what? It was fine. Um, I think we were really lucky. Everyone genuinely got on really well and we kind of fell into this weird uh, dysfunctional family role very quickly. Um, and I'm not someone that cooks, especially rice. I love a bit of microwavable rice, so I've got no idea. But there seemed to be this rice gate, which I think generally happens every year on the show. Um, and I hate confrontation, so I was kind of trying to explain to Naughty that the whole rice pudding thing isn't, you know, we're not saying it's rice pudding. This is just how we had done it previously to kind of, because most of the foods, we don't know the names. So we'd be like, oh, that bird's chicken. It's a chicken leg, blah, blah, blah. But he didn't let me finish. So it ended up being a slight confrontation. But like 10 minutes later, it was absolutely fine. I mean, I'm sure you guys know, you live at home with the people that you love and they annoy you sometimes. We got <laughs> thrown in, None of, you know, we yeah. met on the show and we had to learn how to live with each other very quickly. So those things are gonna happen. Do you think but some of those friendships will continue after, you know, when everyone's out and get to see each other? Will they continue, to think? I mean, I hope so. Um, if any of them try and ignore me, I'll be, just keep ringing them. I'll be like, <laughs> remember me? <laughs> um, there are some real strong relationships made in there. And, um, you know, we, we've shared something together that no one else has experienced because every year is different. Um, so I, I really hope that the friendships last. Now, you spoke about your loose women signal earlier. What about the signal you had for the boys? Oh, my youngest, Carter, I was like, can I just blow a kiss or something like that or something a bit more subtle? And um, he decided that my signal for them was this. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, oh, yeah. So I, I did try and do both a couple of times. <laughs> but I started worrying that people would think that, you know, I was starting to lose the plot, so, and you know, was... I had to pick one or the other. And there was also a lot of people breaking wind in there, yeah. as far as I can remember. Were you one of them? No, not me, Linda, not, not me. Oh, no, no, me. No. The lady till the end. <laughs> <laughs> she I had beautiful. to join in. I was outnumbered. <laughs> Oh, do you know what, Frankie? We've really, honestly, we've really, really missed you. And uh, we're going to be lucky enough to see you again on Friday because you're going to be with us on Friday, aren't you? Yeah, I literally can't wait to get back to the studio and see everyone. I've genuinely missed you guys. Um, I spoke about you a lot in there, which obviously you probably didn't see. Um, so I can't wait to get back in there and have a proper natter and see all the Christmas trees. Yay! Yay! <laughs> well, I, I cannot, cannot, cannot wait to see you, my <laughs> darling. But, um, but before all of that, you've got to give your boys and Wayne a hug. So you enjoy the next few days with the family, all right? I know. See you soon, my love. Bye, Thanks, thank guys. You. Love you. Love you too.